Hello, this is a video to show you how we can use the DBW Analytics 9 connector for SAP in order to extract table data from SAP, both um, single tables but also nested or relational tables. Let's start in the NIME Analytics platform where we can find the KSC or NIME connector for SAP node. When we bring this into the canvas, we can configure the node to point at the SAP data we want. We double click and select configuration of the workflow and a configuration window appears. You can see in this configuration window that we can connect to all manner of different SAP objects depending on our use case. These range from running BW queries, SAP T codes, reading data from S for HANA or success factors, even reading and writing using BAPI and IDOC technology. For this example, however, obviously we're going to use the SAP table tool. As you can see here, we can now select which SAP system we want to connect to. I'm going to use my ECC, but you can see there's a whole range that are possible. So if I ping the system, you can see we have made that connectivity and I'm just going to save my configuration at this point. Now I'm going to choose the SAP table BKPF that I want to connect to. If I do a search, then we look onto the SAP system and bring all BKPF related tables into the view. I'm just going to use BKPF and bring across its metadata. Once that's done, we can now select as a user the fields or columns that we want to use in the output of our report downstream in NIME. We also have the facility to filter on any of the data within the table on any field. So let's choose fiscal year. We can maintain the specific year, so 2019 here, and that will only bring now data from that specific year. As well as doing this manually, we can right click and maybe add document type and use the more automated features. So if we edit that filter, we can now, if the list is available from SAP, choose specific values. So here you can see specific values of document type. I can include or exclude, or use the usual operators, greater than, less than, even in list, and select the exact values I'm interested in. One other feature that's worth pointing out is the split feature, which we see here. The split feature allows multiple calls to be made to the backend system and so reduce the size of each call, chunking up the data, whilst combining the data obviously in the final output. Once we've made our configurations, we can even get a preview of the data that will be passed out into NIME once this node is run. Once we're happy, we save the node configuration and we can jump back into NIME by closing the screen, accepting our configurations, and we're ready to run the node to extract the data, which as you can see, quickly runs the table extraction and the data is brought back into NIME. I'd now like to show you how the node can be used in a complete scenario where we're extracting data from multiple nested tables within SAP. This is the node here and I've run it as you can see and it will pass data two ways, once to a join tool and secondly to a group by. The group by allows us to select unique combinations of company code document number and year and I'm going to pass them into a loop containing another KCS table tool this time for the line item data. As you can see I've created the loop using this tool the group loop start which will loop through the various combinations of company code and year and I'm using a combination of nine tools to create filters which will be understood by the KCS node. Once that runs, it runs for those unique filters, pulls specific data from the BSEC table, which is the line item table, and then moves on, as you can see, to the next combination of company code and year and its related document numbers. So we're looping through and getting very specifically the data we want. Once that process is finished, it'll be passed up and will be joined, as we can see, with the header data to get the output we want. So let's run those and here we see an Excel output with header data and line item data, nested tables or relational tables within SAP extracted with ease. Finally, I'd like to show you how we can automate flows such as this, for instance, by including a date, maybe today's date, to extract just the data we need. We connect into the left-hand anchor of our KCS node. It passes that filter into the tool and once the flow is run, you'll see that now only the data for that specific date, which of course could be calculated as today's date, is shown. And so we've seen how easy it is within NIME to extract 
and combine data from multiple tables within SAP. I hope this video was useful for you, but if you'd like to learn more, please visit our website, dvwanalytics.com.